everybody. How's everybody doing? Good? Okay, good. Arts people, come on. <laughs> um, okay. Let's just give a couple more seconds for people to settle in. It's so wonderful to see all of you, really. This is a, one of my favorite events of the year when we all come together to celebrate art, community, um, and just how wonderful Lackawanna County is. So thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, I know I can't compete with the solar eclipse, but <laughs> although it was cloudy today, but I hope some of you maybe got to, to enjoy it. So I'm Maureen McGuigan. I'm the Director of Arts and Culture for Lackawanna County. I know a lot of new faces here already, but it's great to see new ones. Uh, so welcome. Uh, April is National County Government Month and also National Poetry Month which have really been the two sides of my life. <laughs> I started out as a poet and I ended up a bureaucrat, but I do love it. So maybe they seem very opposite to celebrate together, but I, I don't really think so. It was Lyndon Johnson who signed the Arts and Humanities Bill into law on September 29, 1965, creating the National Endowment for the Arts and the National Endowment for the Humanities. And he said, Art is a nation's most pre precious heritage, for it is in our works of art that we reveal to ourselves and to others the inner vision which guides us as a nation. And where there is no vision, the people perish. So a government that supports the arts and humanities is enhancing people's lives, ensuring everyone has access to cultural life, education, and the ability to creatively express themselves. And that's what you all help with. And we need leaders who see the value investing in us, in, in the arts, like our current commissioners. So before we go into the for formal program, I'd like to present a short video highlighting the initiatives and programs of the Arts and Culture Department. And I think it really reflects President Johnson's quote, and also again, the vision of our county commissioners, Commissioner Bill Gaughan, Matt McGloin and Chris Shermack, who believe in the power of the arts and have made it a priority investment.
Well, there's a lot going on. Okay. I want to thank Electric City Television for helping with that video and for also recording tonight. And Megan for her help. Uh, I'm going to introduce you in a second, but on the slides and the photos. So. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And obviously we couldn't fit everyone in the video, so there's even more stuff to do in Lackawanna County. Um, so thank you to Steve Carilla, one of our uh, local musicians who plays at our events. He was actually playing at the half marathon yesterday morning. We sponsored the music. If any of you have run that, we sponsored the music along the course. Uh, Steve Carilla Jazz Trio. I didn't want to forget your uh, two musicians in the... Uh, um, <clears throat> It's always great to be in this beautiful building, so we want to thank the uh, Cultural Center and their amazing staff. We do this every year, and it's always flawless, so thank you very much. Um, yeah, let's give them a round of applause. Um, and Sterna's, wasn't that wonderful? We like to try to feed you well. We know it's right after work, so big hand out to Kathy and her staff. And of course, I thanked ECT already, but in addition to doing government, it's kind of cool. Again, Poetry Month, Government Month. You do government and you do a lot of arts uh, uh, activities for us recording them. Uh, thank you to my wonderful staff. I do have some big news, if you didn't know already. Our wonderful program manager, Chris Calvi, who has been putting up with me and my crazy antics for 15 years, has moved up to the Trolley Museum director. So I'm very happy for him, yeah. He loves the trolley museum, would always help them out, so he knows it well, and he can't completely get away from the, the arts, of course, but I'm, but I'm really happy for him. So we have Megan Gabello to my left, who's our new program manager, who has jumped right into the job. <laughs> How many things did we throw at you, Megan, already? And uh, she's left the stage. She's back there. Do you want to pop your head out? <laughs> Elisa Scazzafabo is our program coordinator. So she was working with you. So, it is really important to have a great staff, and, and the county is very lucky to, to have them. And also, in addition to a great staff, we have a great arts education and arts, culture, and education advisory council. So I just want to announce their names. They help us set policies and help with programs and events. So they, they really add a lot of resources to the to the um, department. So Lori, if you're here, why don't you stand up and wave? Because <laughs> I can't. I don't know who, who's exactly here. Lori Cadden. Um, oh, or, <laughs> um, she back there? Oh, there she is. Um, Stephanie Colarusso. Uh, Catherine Cullen's here. I know. I saw her. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Um, I know Glennis is here. Glennis Johns. Woohoo! Um, Melissa Carestia, Bob Latiri, Joyce Loma. I know she's over there. Um, Teresa O'Connor is here. There she is. Um, Alicia Gregga could not make it. Um, Megan Passamato, um, Tenye Verkaitis, Mark DiStefano, Cole Goldstein, Francesca Saladan, Danya Jackson is here. <laughs> Where is she? Woohoo! Um, Bob Savakinis, I know, is also here. Uh, Longtime supporter of the arts, and Nada Gil Martin. So thank you for all your hard work. Okay, and. Now, again, it's important, and I can't stress this enough, good leadership matters, and we are very lucky, again, to have in Lackawanna County an arts and culture dedicated tax, which is very unusual. We're the only ones in PA, and, and um, it's you know leaders that support those kind of policies. Sometimes it takes strength and courage to advocate for the arts, but they believe in the power and how it can help economically, community development, and just bring everyone together. And again, just like Johnson's quote, it, it is, and the last quote I put, a soul of a people. It's really important to support the arts. So I'm going to introduce two of our commissioners. Unfortunately, Commissioner McGloin um, had to leave early, but I hope you got to, to meet him earlier. But I really want to make sure that we hear from Commissioner Bill Gaughan and, and Chris Shermack to just say a little, a few words why they believe in the arts and uh, so why they choose to support all of the great stuff that you do. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you, Maureen, for doing a great job as our arts and culture director and also for constantly promoting our county and all it has to offer. Please give Maureen a round of applause. She is unbelievable. <laughs> it, 
In my career in public service, both as a Scranton Councilman and now as a County Commissioner, I've had the opportunity to see how fundamental the arts are to our county. There is no doubt that there is an economic benefit to having a strong arts and culture community. But even more importantly, I believe that a strong arts and culture community nourishes the soul of our entire county. We are able to celebrate our heritage, preserve our history, and ignite our collective imagination. Because of all of the people in this room and all of the people involved across the county, our arts and culture community brings people together bridging divides and fostering a sense of unity and pride in our shared cultural heritage. Maureen quoted President Johnson, and since I'm a good Irish Catholic, I have to quote President Kennedy. <laughs> and President Kennedy once said, I am certain that after the dust of centuries has passed over our cities, we too will be remembered not for victories or defeat in battles or in politics, but for our contribution to the human spirit. As we chart the course for the future of Lackawanna County, let us reaffirm our commitment to nurturing and supporting the arts. Let us recognize their power to inspire, to heal, and to unite us as a community. Thank you. Well, it's great to be here again once again. Uh, I've been doing this now pretty much every year and for the last four years, and um, it's always one of my favorite nights. Now today was an odd day because of the uh, eclipse, right? So I don't know if anybody got to see it. I was, I had to drive to the airport today. So I ran down there and as I'm driving, it was getting darker and darker and clouds are in the sky. You couldn't really see anything. And I got into the, um, the uh, roundabouts. <laughs> Honest to God. I got in the middle of the roundabout, and I think I created some kind of a vortex because the skies opened up, and I could, see, I could see the eclipse. So, you know, I would like to take credit for that if anybody got to see it. So, I just, I, look, I want to reiterate what Billy said about Maureen and Maureen's team, and with the help, and Chris Calvi even is here tonight, the great work that they do, and to promote the arts, and to have all you here tonight. I mean, I love doing this. I love passing out the checks. I mean, you just make our Northeast or Pennsylvania so much better, and it, it just makes it just life so much better here for all of us. But I appreciate all that everyone does, and um, just proud to be here. And uh, I can't believe I watch these videos and, and how f fast time goes by and how quick the summer goes by and our Christmas thing in, at the courthouse and just I, I just can't believe it but it's so much fun and I love what Maureen does so thank you very very much have a great night all right so now for the portion you've been waiting for where we celebrate all of you and all of our wonderful arts and culture organizations uh, I'm going to call up so we do have three um, what we call anchor institutions. They're beautiful buildings. They do a, a lot of uh, programming for the community. So I'd like to call up the directors of the uh, Cultural Center and the Everhart Museum and the library just to kind of recognize them for all the work they do. So, I think, is there anybody here from the Everhart or the yeah, we'll just, oh, come on up, Joyce. We're just going to recognize you all together. And is Sandy here from the library? Or maybe they couldn't, okay. okay. We'll just take a, is Mark out in the audience to take a quick photo of the, okay, <laughs> sorry. Mark is our new director uh, of community outreach, so <laughs> we're putting him to work here tonight. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. So thank you again and for everything that you do. Um, okay. So when we call your name, you're represented, when, you know, if you're representing, I'm gonna call the organization, so whoever is representing them can come up and we will have your check. Megan is assisting, so we're trying to be organized, right? <laughs> we think we have a good system down. Um, and then, so first we're gonna start with what we call our program stream grants. And these are for established nonprofits, 
arts and cultural groups, uh, they receive a yearly allocation. So we have a couple of new people this year, so, so I'm excited about that. So we have actually 39 groups, so this is great. The, I think arts and culture is really expanding in the county, which is wonderful. So Abington Business and Professional Association for the Clark Summit Ice Festival, Festival of Ice, sorry. <laughs> I think you have somebody. Somebody here? Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, actor circle. Now, now those of you have to dance on your way up and get the music. <laughs> The Anthracite Heritage Museum. Sorry. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, are they here? Oh, yeah, they're there. Yeah. Arcadia Corral. <laughs> Affa Gallery. Arts at First Presbyterian. They're up in Clark Summit. Ballet Theater of Scranton. Black Scranton Project. <laughs> Boys and Girls Club of Northeastern PA. I don't know if anybody's here from, okay. Um, Broadway Theater. League. Carbondale Pi excuse me, <laughs> Carbondale Pioneer Nights. <laughs> Catholic Choral Society. <laughs> Center for the Living City. you're all wearing your Fitbit. <laughs> Get a little exercise up here. Coral Society of Northeast Pennsylvania. First Friday Scranton.
Greenhouse Project. Keystone College Performance Music. Lackawanna Heritage Fair. Lackawanna Historical Society. I love seeing all this excitement and support for everybody. Thank you. Lackawanna Heritage Valley Santa Train. If anybody's in the audience for that. Okay. Let's see anybody here from that. I do know the River Conservation Association is here. I saw Bernie, so for River Fest. And Tara is the new director. Oh, I skipped La Festa. Thank you. La Festa Italiana. It's good to have tea. Lyric Consort. Oh, they, they came up already, I think. Did they? Um, NEIU Poetry Out Loud, which I just found out the person from this area won the states. Is that what you, yeah. <laughs> Catherine wears many hats. Uh, Northeastern Pennsylvania Philharmonic. <laughs> North Pocono Cultural Society. Scranton Civic Ballet. Scranton Fringe Festival. Scranton Jazz Festival. Scranton Music Association. I know, it's graduating. Scranton Public Theater. Oh, I thought I saw Bob. Um, Scranton Tomorrow Mural Arts Program.
Snowforge. St. Patrick's Parade Association of Lackawanna County. And now for the Italians, St. Ubaldo Society. Oh, no, I call it, yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Come on up. Lori Cadden was talking too much. <laughs> no. Well, it's good. We foster conversation here. <laughs> I thought I saw you. I was, thought I was going crazy. <laughs> well, I am crazy, but... Um. He's not St. Ubaldo. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> we go with the flow here. You should know that. <laughs> All right. Now we have the St. Ubaldo Society. Okay. <laughs> Summer Music Festival, which is for Scranton Farmers Market Concerts. <laughs> and Waverly Community House. Scranton Shakespeare Festival. Are they here? I thought I saw somebody from Scranton Shakes. Okay. So congratulations to all our program stream recipients. And now we're going to head into our, our project grants, which is actually for new pro, you could be an individual, an organization, a municipality, uh, and you can apply for a $3,000 award, uh, and they're, they're one-time one uh, project grants, but you can apply over a year. So I really like this program because it allow, it's kind of like seed funding. If you have an idea, you can come and apply, and, and we've seen projects grow from just that little bit of funding. It's amazing what people do. So I'm really thrilled. We had 60 applications this year, the most ever, which again just shows you that uh, arts and culture is growing um, in Lackawanna County. Um, we do have a panel that reviews these, which we're always very grateful for. Uh, it's an intense process, but if, you, if you're interested in being a panelist, we are always recruiting, so you can talk to me after. Uh, so the first uh, award I'm going to read is the Arc of NEPA is receiving an award for a theater program for adults with intellectual disabilities. So. Mm -hmm. I know, alphabetical is uh, easy. Archibald Burrow is doing a restoration of a historic 100-year-old gravity railroad car. So. They're doing good stuff in Archbold because we also have an Archbold Borough Veterans Monument Park for a sculpture honoring veterans by local artist Stephen Colley. Leela Baikadi is a photographer who's getting an award for Birds of a Feather exhibit focused on bird habitats at county libraries.
James Barrett for the Good Things Are Happening Festival. Whoa. This is for a, a, a music festival at the Scranton Iron Furnaces in August. Amy Belcher for performances of the Electric City Nutcracker, an interpretation set in Scranton and Lackawanna County. Eric Bussert for a mural on the Scranton history of jazz and big band music. Camp Create for a summer theater and arts camp for children with special needs. You're back. Carbondale Concerts for free summer concerts in Carbondale. <laughs> Bill Carter for free concerts in Clark Summit, Keystone College, and Carbondale. Is he critiquing the musicians? No, is he? Uh, Connor Kelly O'Brien for an original play on ecology. Beehive and the Honeys that will travel to schools and public venues. <laughs> Covenant Public Concerts for a series of free concerts at Covenant Presbyterian Church in Scranton. Craig Churry for writing workshops as part of a re-entry program for formerly incarcerated individuals. <laughs> the Electric City Steel Drum Project for introduction to the steel pan, community workshops to learn about steel pan instruments. Elmhurst Roaring Brook Volunteer Fire Department for music at their annual fireman's picnic. I don't know if anybody's here. Um, Julie, Julie Esty for her annual theatrical and historical tour of the Dunmore Cemetery in October. Farm Arts Collective for Dream on the Farm, an original play on climate change performed outdoors at the Greenhouse Project. So, so this next project has already happened and I hope you had a chance to see it. It's a really beautiful community art installation, Garden at Cedar, Find Your Heart in the Garden at Cedar, an interactive public art installation in February. So Frank Dubas is here. Frank Goral of Moscow Clayworks for community pottery programs at Moscow Clayworks. Ray Mioni for all ages and youth focused uh, performance series at Clarkie's Billiards in Scranton. The Greater Scranton Black Diamonds Pipe Band for bagpipers at Irish River Fest at Sweeney's Beach. I, I think we knew you were getting that one. <laughs> um, 
Hamidian Training Institute for Artistic Foundations of Healing, classes on the intersection of art and well-being. <laughs> Hospice of the Sacred Heart, a camp utilizing the arts to help children cope with grief and loss. Um, Indra Loka Animal Sanctuary, they're having a concert series held at the Animal Sanctuary in Dalton. Jason Smeltzer for the Old Stories original performance of Folk and Fairy Tales at the Old Brick. <laughs> Very theatrical entrance. Lexington Entertainment for Dixieland All-Stars Band for concerts at parks, nursing homes, and Veterans Center. I think that's probably Doug again. I think it's Doug. He is here. Well, the Marywood University for the arts activities at STAR, students together achieving remarkable success, a summer camp um, for Latinx middle and high school students. Lisa Murphy for the development of an illustrated mural study of community response and interaction with uh, community murals in, in the county. <laughs> Naog Park Concerts, the free summer long Sunday concert series at Naog. Oh, is that Tom Welby? I see Tom Welby making his way up. <laughs> No, don't, don't trip. <laughs> no hurrying. Nipa Horror Fest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Biannual horror genre themed festival at Circle Drive In in Dixon City. Yay, Jess. <laughs> Actually, Jess. I always make one mistake, well, more than one. Jess is also a member of our Arts Council, and I'm not sure I announced her. <laughs> and she's one of the hardest working women in the arts, so she's been doing stuff, so apologies about that. Um, I promise I won't make any more sticks. Nipa Pan African Coalition, it's for a week-long festival in December, celebrating Kwanzaa. <laughs> New Vintage Ensemble for production of the play Tiny Beautiful Things by Nia Varlos based on Cheryl Strayed book. <laughs> PA Jazz Alliance for performance of Swingin' Jazz Nutcracker Suite at the Ritz Theater in Scranton. <laughs> Rosemary Hay for two performances at the Scranton Cultural Center about gun violence awareness created with youth from the NEPA Youth Shelter. <laughs> Rosetti Foundation. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> You're definitely here. <laughs> for a Greek Odyssey concert, a multidisciplinary arts event exploring Greek music history at the Rosetti Foundation in Scranton. Trinka Ravioli to support local artists to attend the Art Nature Retreat at Spring Hill Farms. <laughs> Zach Sprouls for an original collaborative performance with multidisciplinary artists. Um, I don't know if Tony can make it. 
no, um, Wally Gordon Community Singers for a free patriotic music concert in July and holiday concert in December. Will Palumbo for multidisciplinary performances at Keystone Stage in Oliphant. <laughs> Women to Women Thrive for their annual Arts Thrive in Carbondale Summer Arts Festival. And the, finally, making sure I'm not making any more mistakes. Finally, I believe the Youth Arts Coalition for free 10 week music lessons twice a week for youth five to eighth grade in Scranton, fifth to eighth grade. Thank you again. That concludes our program. Feel free to stay around and mingle. But again, thank you for all you do. Um, I'm really excited about 2024 in the arts. So enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for coming.